Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's go here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to the Skyland Fishing Cabin Project to work on one super awesome waterfall. We are going to make one of the coolest waterfalls ever in our Fishing Cabin Project. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scarland, and it's always great to have you here for another super awesome build. And in today's episode, we are going to work on one super awesome waterfall. So this is what we've been working on in our previous episodes. We've really jazzed up the front yard here. We've got this place looking really snazzy with these really awesome trees built up in here. Got this cool little pathway that kind of winds along here. Got some coarse dirt in there looking really nice and this uh, unique path with some of the new blocks looking pretty good. All right, so let's go in here and make a quick decision before we get to our waterfall. So we need to pick a door for the house. So we need a door for right here and right down there. So here is my door that's in my texture pack model after my real life door. And um, this is one of the new birch um, doors. And uh, this was the acacia, I believe. And this is the jungle. So let me know, which one do you guys think would be a great addition for the house? I've uh, decided that the dark and the light chocolate not gonna really work out for this house, being one medieval and one being kind of a formal door, which really wouldn't fit this particular house house but um yeah definitely let me know which one we should pick and um yeah so there's our waterfall it's gonna look so awesome when it's flowing down here and uh, we could see it through this window it is gonna be super duper awesome so let's get this started i really like this door i just wish it wasn't so orange even though orange is my favorite color i just can't find any great uses for that very easily when we're building all right so let's climb up here and get started with a bit of terraforming. So, one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft besides making trees is waterfalls. So, let's see here, we're gonna get up here, and let's see here, let's jump over here. There we go, it's a good thing we have our feather falling. So, we're gonna start our waterfall about here or so. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to have it kind of flow down a little bit. So, I'm gonna kind of chop down this a little bit here, so it's not quite so high. There we go. So I want it to kind of have a bit of a flow, and then I want it to kind of cascade down, as you can see right here. So let's remove those little pillars there. And then I want it to hit about here. So I'm just gonna kind of cut that away just a little bit. There we go. So I want it to kind of stop. Let's just say it stops about here, and then we'll kind of fill in a little bit here. So what we want is it to kind of have a decent flow to about here, hit this section here, and then Kind of fall down into another smaller scale waterfall so something a little bit like Multnomah Falls in uh, Oregon in the Columbia Gorge and then the top parts kind of themed a little bit like Bridal Falls in Yosemite so uh, kind of a combination of the two two of my favorite waterfalls all right so I love waterfalls I uh, it's one of my favorite things to take pictures of you know getting your tripod out getting out an ND filter or something and uh, making the water all silky smooth one of my uh one of my personal favorite things to take pictures of. I love that. I don't, I need to do it more often. You know, we need to start the uh, Scars of, Scar Adventure where we uh, go out and maybe go on like a photography uh, thing. I think that would be really cool. So as you can see, we'll start up there. It'll flow down to there. I think looking at it from here, we need to move it down just a bit more. It's just a little higher than I want it to be, I think. So I'm gonna bring it down to about that height. Very good. And I'm just gonna pop up here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. Yeah, like I was saying is uh, we need to start that scar adventures where we kind of go out and you know Just something different we could do it on maybe as our random Sunday video where we go kind of out on an adventure Maybe we take some pictures and do some fun stuff like that. Just something a little different I think I think it, I think you guys would like it. I, I do I, I really do think you guys might like that and I um, I know I would have a ton of fun doing it Okay, there we go. So then I'm just gonna cut this part down just a bit more. Very good, very good. There we go. Perfect, wonderful. And then it'll have that slight um, fall down. So I'm just gonna cut out just a little bit more right here. There we go, wonderful. All right, so let's get this water flowing. So when you're building waterfall, and try not to uh, you know get super discouraged right off the bat because sometimes when you're trying to make something you know have a bit of realism you know you're trying to create something that has a uh, you know a familiar waterfall feel you um, sometimes will get something that looks a little wonky so you just kind of have to play with it where's my buckets 
Where's my buckets? They're gone. All right, let me go get my buckets. I don't know where they went, but they're gone. Somebody took my buckets, and I'm quite upset. Don't know. I don't know who did it, but somebody stole my buckets. They're gone. They're gone. Where's my buckets? There's a bucket thief about in Scarland, and they've stolen my buckets. All right, I found my buckets. They were hiding in here. I feel like there's somebody playing a joke on me in here, a sneaky skeleton maybe or something, sneaking around, grabbing my buckets, hiding them from me. Hmm. I feel like there's some shenanigans about in here, but we got the buckets, so let's uh, head back over here. And um, yeah, look at our waterfall, just ready to go. It might not look like anything much now, but believe me, I think when we get this going, it's gonna be super awesome. So it's a lot of work, especially in survival, to uh, you know make you know cool little terraforming things like this, but definitely well worth it. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna go three wide. So you see this little strip right here. We're gonna start one here. We're gonna start another one there and another one right there. So let's jump down here just a little bit. We don't wanna to go too far. I just wanna get a basic idea of how this is starting to flow. And I'm liking it. That's a little wonky right there. You can see where that piece is hitting there and flowing in an odd direction. We can always fix that up, but this looks really nice at the front. Now we want it to be a little wider at the bottom because that's more of a realistic feel in a waterfall as they start out a little thinner at the top and then get wider as they go down. And I'm liking that. I am liking that. That is looking very good. All right, let's get just a bit more water. There we go. Awesome. I'm really, I really like it. I really like it. But I want this to be a little wider at the bottom. So we're just going to jump up here, try to avoid messing with the flow. So I'm going to do this. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So I don't want to inter. I don't want to interfere with the inner workings, but I'd also want to get up here. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see if we can actually hold on to ourselves here. So I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that block there. Mm, very, very, very difficult block there. Let's see what we can do about this. Oh, no, that looks nice. But let's just, um, let's, let's just skew it just a little bit. Just a little bit like that. Yeah, I like that, I like that, that looks good. All right, and then right here, we're just gonna add an additional stream right there. I'll fill in the back here just a little bit, possibly add something like that. No, that doesn't look good. So we'll back off that, and we'll add an additional stream right there. And then what if we just kinda added just a, yeah, there we go, that looks nice. Oh, that looks good, I think that'll be pretty cool. All right, so let's back off just a little bit and see how we're doing. Looking pretty good, looking definitely pretty good. Let's jump down and then um, get a feel for how that's starting to look. It's a little bit wider maybe. We might we might, might make a small adjustment to this section, kind of skinny it up just a little bit more. But if we're inside here and we're looking up at that awesome waterfall flowing down there, that's gonna be so cool. That's definitely gonna be awesome. So give me a few minutes here. Let me kind of uh, take a little break here, catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, so I made a few adjustments here and there to kind of create a little bit more rocky nature to it. So it looks like the water's kind of flowing over rocks. And I added just a little bit more water at the top, but for the most part, it's about the same there. And um, yeah, so let's start adding a little bit of rock around the perimeter here and start to create a little bit of a better environment around the, um, the water here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of choke off the water here a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm just giving myself a little bit of room here so I can walk up here. All right, put another one there, perfect. And then I'm just going to kind of add some additional rock on the sides here. So it kind of creates, you know, it looks like the water's kind of eroded the rock and different things like that over time. Mm -hmm. There we go, very good, very good. All right, perfect, wonderful. And let's just take a quick look at that so far. Yeah, let's just continue that and kind of get some more rock, you know, maybe up on some of these sides here and uh, kind of cover up some of that unsightly gravel. I think I have quite a bit of smooth stone, so it looks like we're not gonna run out too fast here. There we go. Create a little bit of a nice rock cliff here. So like, you know, we've done in multiple other areas, um, once we get the smooth stones, just one layer of detail, then we can add our andesite and add our uh, mossy cobble and different things like that. We'll add a nicer look to the area. There we go. Give that area just a little bit more immersion. Very good. Wonderful. 
Awesome. So we're just kind of bring this over here a little bit and continue this rock cliff there. Just getting that built up. Wonderful. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's fly on up over there and work a little bit at the top. So this is kind of a tedious process. A lot of um, this this stuff takes a long time. You know, not every inch of this thing is going to be done in this episode because it's going to take a while. You know, to slowly fill in. You know, more and more of the rock, and you know, we might see an area we might want to remove a little bit more rock here or there, but. You know, we'll just, you know, work at it for now here. We'll try to do our best we can. I don't want to make the episode 45 minutes or more. So we'll try to, um, you know, just do a little bit here and there, cut in and out. But yeah, so slowly just add in rock around here, make it look like, you know, the, the dirt's been eroded away from the water. So those are all the things to think about, you know, when you're trying to make, you know, a somewhat realistic waterfall. There we go. And then I just want to sneak, I just want to sneak a little rock back here. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll just fly back up over here. Wonderful. And um, yeah, there we go. So definitely if you're following along and trying to get some waterfall tips or something like that, definitely um, if you've finished you know, a design and uh, you're happy with it, send it over to me on Twitter. Send it to GTW Scar. That's my Twitter address. I always forget it because I don't really tweet myself, so <laughs> I always forget it. But um, yeah, send send me some pictures of some of the things you guys have created, or like waterfalls and different things like that. I'd love to take a little look-see at them. There we go. See what you guys have come up with. There we go. All right, awesome. Getting that all settled here. And kind of, you know, create a little more cliff up above it like that. Awesome. So then what you could do here is start to add just a little bit of detail, you know, add a little bit of crumbling rock, a little bit of river rock on top of some of these pieces. And then that adds a tons of extra cool little details, you know, even maybe bring out a piece of rock over the waterfall a little bit there. There we go. And we can jump on over here and then remove a little bit of dirt. So that's one of the things I want to do is to start removing some of the dirt on the mountain here and um, bring in more stones into it. So after we finish the waterfall today, we are going to move on to working on the tops of these mountains, which will be the snow. So in the tops of the mountains, we'll have um, the uh, diorite or cookies and cream block, and then that will be the snow block. So it'll be kind of like a glacier, and that'll go on these two peaks on either side. So these will be kind of like the twin peaks. All right, wonderful, there we go. So then we can kind of come over here and you know, add a little bit of that and then kind of think, all right, so what else can we do? We could take out, you know, some of these guys and fill maybe that in a little bit with some andesite. There we go. Add some of that in there. And then when you're next to the water, come in a little bit and find a good spot to not die, but uh, try to fill in some mossy cobble up there. So let's run back here and take a little look to see how we're doing. And yeah, you could start to see some of the details starting to form up there. So what I want is that the um, the stone there to, to actually get wider as it goes down. And then, you know, so it creates that kind of um, perspective going up. So yeah, so let me work on this for a little bit longer and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So we've got quite a bit of progress done here. As you can see, we've added a lot of different rocks. So one thing I've been working on is also carving out a little bit behind the waterfall, especially on the spot where it goes vertical like that. See, of course, down there you'd think, you know, the rocks would be hitting the water and making it go all different places. But in this section where it just flows straight down, I've been kind of carving out the back. It actually has a dramatic change. It, it creates, it makes it look bigger and stuff like that. So that's what I've been working on. So I want to jump on over here and uh, start to add just a little bit more detail in this section over here. So just add a few things back here. So we'll get out that and just adding some things like that. So nothing nothing too crazy or special back here, just a few extra blocks. There we go. And I'll just place another one right there. Awesome. And then you know you could throw in a couple of these guys like so. Um, one thing I noticed which looked kind of cool is doing these little uh, half slab, half slab, you know, full block, half slab like that. It just looks like little nooks and crannies in the rocks and different things like that that create a little bit more realism. So I'm gonna make that jump one more time all the way across. And one more hardcore podcore all the way. All right, there we go. Okay, I think that is starting to look pretty good. So we'll get rid of our little bridge. There we go. And I'm gonna jump down onto this other little bridge. And I'm gonna work on this section. So I want to open up this part just a little bit more. Kind of carve out that section there. 
and then bring up this part right here. There we go. So yeah, this is taking a long time. I've gone through maybe three or four Minecraft day cycles, um, just working on this, you know, walking back, looking from afar, kind of see how it's looking from a distance and what it looks like from inside and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, it's starting to come out. It's starting to come out. Just takes a long time. Terraforming and doing things like this is never easy and never fast. And it's, uh, but it's always well worth the effort in the end that you got something looking pretty snazzy, looking pretty good. Eventually, eventually, it'll look awesome. So, we're just going to, I want to fill up that little canal there. And, um, oh, there's the skeleton. Here to steal my buckets again. I just know it. Those skeletons have been up to no good around here. Especially after that last episode, you know, they're all getting ready for Halloween, apparently. Uh, all right. Getting that done there. But yeah, isn't it crazy? Summer's... No, Bob. No, Bob. No, Bob. Bad Bob. Bad Bob. Go away. No, Bob. No, 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 Bob. You're... No, Bob. Bob. What did we talk about last time? You know? What did we talk about? Uh, well, like I was saying, uh, it's amazing. Chris or I mean, yeah, Christmas is almost over. I mean, uh, summer is almost over. It's kind of sad, but, um, you know, it's always good to see the seasons change once in a while, you know, get to start to see some fall color and to, um, I don't know, get ready for some snow, I guess. <laughs> Most likely it's not going to be very snowy this year where I live because of possible El Nino, maybe, or something along those lines. I don't know. guess that's what it's all going to be about, but, um... Hopefully, hopefully we get a little bit. I like a little snow. A little snow here or there is fun, you know. Not not a big fan of like, you know, below zero temperatures at all. But I like just a little snow. A little like, you know, 20, 15 degrees once in a while. It's fun. But anything more than that, I'm, I'm not into that stuff. Not into that scene at all. So, I like a little bit of cold, but not a lot. Only for a short period of time. Go. Let's clear out that. Major props to people who live in super, super cold climates. It's something that I just, I don't think I could do. Especially, especially with like a neuromuscular disease where your, your muscles, like if they get cold, they just, they're just done. They're just like, I'm all done. I'm not going to work for the rest of the day. And they just kind of give up a little bit. So not my favorite thing. There we go. But a little little cold, little snow here or there is always kind of fun. Mix things up a little bit. There we go. Let's throw in a little bit of uh, cookies and cream back there. There we go. So I've been uh, terraforming a little bit in my um, creative world where we're building the... Um, uh, that looks a little weird. Um, where we've been building the... Um, let's actually put this over at the top. There we go. Um, a Skyrim house. So I, you know, I did some terraforming for the, the mountains and around there, and uh, <laughs> I, it's so easy. I mean, it, it's so easy to do that in you know a uh, creative es essence, but when you bring it into like survival, oh, it's so hard. This is so time consuming. So many resources, but um, like I've always say, like when we're working on the roller coaster area, it's worth it. It's worth it. It gives the, it gives you that unique feel for a build, and um, it's hard to recreate it, but you know, when you want to uh, create an environment that has a feeling to it, you know, something something that has a bit of a epicness to it, it's difficult, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So if you're on the fence about, you know, going after something, going after a project, really getting in there with some terraforming, I say do it. You know, you don't, maybe, maybe you don't get everything you want right off the bat, but, you know, work at it. Maybe you don't have enough smooth stone to create the mountain you want or something like that, but... Give it time. Give it time. You don't have to create a masterpiece overnight. But um, yeah, look at that. Oh, I love it. It's really starting to come out. This will be a real centerpiece for the build. So yeah, so let's work on this just a little bit more and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So I thought we'd fill in this area. So it's starting to get kind of late. I've been working on this for almost two, three hours now. So I need to take a little break. So I thought we'd uh, start to wrap up some of the... Uh, the work up there, but I think we're getting there. I think we're actually getting there with some progress done here. And uh, so let's finish up here by creating the lake and working on a little bit of the rest of the river through here. So we get some water going in here. And um, yeah, so I think this is, thing is starting to come out pretty cool. It'll really add a lot of extra environment to this part. And I think looking through the house up at that waterfall is gonna be really cool. And um, I think this place, 
this place has been a little bit longer, you know, build than I anticipated. Like I thought this would be kind of a quick build and, you know, we would, uh, you know, finish the fishing cabin pretty quick, but you know, I kept getting ideas, you know, I kept getting ideas for underground boat houses and cool, like, you know, waterfalls that we're working on now and, you know, all the different decks and things out there. But, um, I'm glad, I'm glad we, we put in the extra effort into building this and, you know, it took a little longer than expected and, um, uh, hope, you know, I didn't, you know, keep bore you guys too long with this project, but we only got like two or three more episodes and we're pretty much done with this and moving on to, uh, all sorts of other great stuff. But I think it was cool. I feel like this is kind of like New Orleans Square when uh, Walt Disney and the crew were building um, the Pirates Ride and the Haunted Mansion and different things like that. How New Orleans was just going to be this like couple buildings and it was going to have a wax museum where the pirates kind of, um, you know, lived. And that's where it would be kind of a walkthrough. You just see the pirates in these kind of wax museum poses. And um, it wasn't good enough for them. You know, they wanted to push it, do more get more immersion into it and they put it off for a little bit and then when they came back from the world's fair they're like we have all this new technology and all this stuff let's push it let's do what we can let's do more and then uh, we got a pirates ride out of it at disneyland uh, we got the haunted mansion a hu hugely expanded new orleans square with multiple restaurants and private clubs and all sorts of different stuff but that's how I feel about this project. You know, it started out, you know, it was just gonna be a small little cap and, and it turned into a, a little bit more than that. But um, I think it was worth it. I think it was worth the extra resources, the extra time. And hopefully you guys, you know, maybe you've built some of this stuff in your own world. Hope you were inspired by some of the different builds and things to incorporate that in your own worlds and stuff like that. So that's what I at least hope in this, you know, this build was um, an inspiration for everybody and they were able to, find different little things to add to their particular um, worlds and stuff. I've seen some pictures from people who've built the cabin, so I always love seeing that when people show me stuff that, you know, where they've built the cabin or just used this or that from the cabin design or, you know, didn't build anything like it, but they said that the world just kind of inspired them to uh, do something. So I always love seeing that. Now, there still hasn't been anybody who's gotten that challenge yet where it was to take the cabin, build the cabin in a uh, redwood forest with the big redwood trees or the uh, the big spruce trees. I still haven't seen that. Nobody's finished that challenge yet where they were going to build the house. So I'm still waiting for that. I'm still waiting for that. All right, so let me finish up this and um, yeah, then we'll wrap up this episode. All right, I'm trapped here. I'm trapped here. We've got multiple mobs everywhere. Bob the Creeper Building Inspector, don't blow my pool up. Ah, there we go. Ah, victorious. We have won. We have won. All right. That was quite a battle down there. That was quite a battle. But um, yeah, look at this. We have made some huge progress today. Look at this. It's of course not done at all yet, but um, we have some made some massive progress on our waterfall. We'll continue to add more rock and um, get more stuff in there. But for the most part, we've got an awesome base for this area of our landscape done. Next will be the big mountains and trees and plants and different things like that around here. But yeah, let me know what you think of the waterfall. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are great, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And it's been like three hours. This is the longest episode ever. We'll see you later. You know, one side may be a little higher than the other and not to make it so uniform because you want these things to be kind of wild like they've been out in the woods you know nobody's tended to them with any trimmers and things of that nature so they're just kind of growing around and oh my gosh this is seriously going to rain for the rest of the episode <laughs> oh man